Okay. Um, it's been a while since I've last done a custom campaign in StarCraft 2. After running Wings of Liberty about three dozen times in about three months, I kind of got a little tired of it. Today, we're however starting up the Enhanced Swarm mod. So, if I understand correctly, this is a new custom campaign that just recently finished, and a lot of people are saying this is fantastic. A lot of people are saying this is like their favorite custom campaign ever, which, you know, has me at high hopes, because there's a lot of really good ones. So this is taking a Rhyme's base for Nightmare Difficulty. So it should be Nightmare Difficulty um, that this entire series is based off of. Furthermore, Kerrigan is disabled in all the missions that aren't dungeon crawling missions where you need to have her. So nightmare difficulty, no Kerrigan. <laughs> that sounds pretty much impossible because I think it would be. They've decided to add additional passive as well as active abilities to every single Zerg unit. So some of them are going to be utterly broken, I'm sure. And on top of that, I think there's additional mutations added to units that normally don't have mutations. Like, for example, the Brute Queen. So I'm not exactly sure how this works and how difficult this is truly going to be. I also don't know if I actually installed it correctly, but I think I did. If you hit exclamation point info in Twitch chat, there should be a link. Oh, actually, no, I, I was going to put it in the link. So the mod is made by Amith or Amith. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. There's a, um, a Google Docs with the full changelog. Yeah. So this guy has a full overview of everything that he's changed about this game, which is 19 pages long, apparently. There's a lot of stuff. So I'm not exactly sure. I don't really want to spoil myself. Also, from what I understand, the order in which the missions need to be played is set. So you can't go and choose different planets, because I think it would break the game in some ways. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but I think you basically have to do every mission in a set order. That's what I know. Uh, I got this one from the Discord. The Giant Grand Games Custom Campaign Manager Discord thingamajig, whatever it's called. Do we watch the trailer? I guess we'll watch the trailer. I haven't seen this in a while. Prepare yourself for the hero Viking. Those Marines just minding their business. Prepare your Fs in the chat. Am I crazy or did that rope of Arcturus look really rubbery, considering it's supposed to be made out of stone? That... Yeah, it had cloth physics! Jimmy? J Jimmy? 
Um, I don't really want to watch the other cinematics because this this storyline, the one in Heart of the Swarm, is the one that I uh, uh, I get bothered by. Okay, I don't want to I don't want to insult the story any more than I already have in the past. <sighs> no, no, we're not gonna watch every cutscene. No, I like the opening cinematic though, cause that one's still cool. I remember seeing that first in like 2012 or whatever. Back when I was just a baby. A long time ago, dude. Okay. The Enhanced Swarm mod is active. Achievements are disabled. Ah! This campaign does not accuse me of being a cheater. That's nice. Normally custom campaigns always uh, warn me that I'm a cheater. <laughs> Maybe it still will, I don't know. What are you hoping to get out of these tests, Valerian? Yeah, so no Kerrigan, and four Dropper Lords. All right. Stop! I didn't ask you. Ooh, devouring ones. Not Zerglings. What's this? Welcome to the Enhanced Swarm mod. Entry bots are destroying the Zerglings in their pens. I can change that. This mod, okay, so this mod replaces the default Zerg strains with enhanced ones, possessing new abilities as well as adding new bonus objectives to certain missions, like this one that gives you a way to further enhance the swarm. Furthermore, this mod incorporates AI changes from Nightmare as well as some map changes I wanted to make to add to the experience. Have fun and good luck. All right. The mod uses a fixed planet order. Char will not be accessible until Xeris is complete. And Sky Gear is not available until Rainer is freed. Spoiler alert! We didn't get to that part yet, man. So the real rhyme... Okay, so the credits are for real rhyme for the Heart of the Swarm and Legacy of the Void mods. Dave Spectre for the Aberration Green Evolution skin and the Kill Ya... Or Kill Lisa Brute Mutalisk Devourer and Guardian skins. Major Kaza for helping with automatic creep tumor spreading for allies. Christian, Dire Raven, and General for help with testing each mission. This guy is friends with a general? That's amazing. And the modern discussion channel on the GGG CCM Discord server. So this is where I download those custom campaigns. HF and GL. Not a strong start. I would say that's... Oh, wait, what? I have a limited amount of time? I didn't know that. I have 12 minutes. I was reading. These things are insanely good. The Viring ones have plus two base armor. And armor is half as effective against their targets. They can jump up and down cliffs. Can I, um... Yeah. I always can tell that I'm playing this mission because this mission does not have an old army hotkey. I know. Kerrigan, this is not a game. This seems bad. It never is with the Zerg. Honestly, this is fine. These <laughs> these things are insanely strong. My sub is now three pregnancies long. Very nice, dude. Congratulations, Rumble. With your pregnancies. Uh, also, I have not played StarCraft 2 in too long. Like, not to make any excuses or whatever, but it really has been too long. So these things are two supply each. Ha! <laughs> One group of Zerklings is two supply. This makes me very uncomfortable. I wonder if I have enough time for this mission, though, because I was standing there doing nothing. There's an expansion?! Okay. Uh, yeah, I I think I'm gonna fail this mission, dude. If <laughs> I've already lost several minutes worth. So this is new, though. These sandbags and stuff, and those hellbats in the front. I think they like you. Okay. I think I have enough time. I think I'm gonna expand and then we'll go from there. 
I should not have made three hatcheries in the middle of the map, though. So normally this map does not have any expansions. There's something here on the high ground? Don't know what that would be, but... What? There's a hydralisk that's being operated on. Enhanced cr crawler regeneration obtained? All crawlers now regenerate life twice as fast? What? Crawlers as in spine and spore crawlers? I don't know what it means, by the way. Cleansing commences in eight seconds. Like, I'm assuming Valerian finds the panic switch and then he... You know? Figures out a way for me to not uh, do this anymore. Okay, we'll continue going. These things are insanely strong. Containment door won't open until I destroy those turrets. I don't remember. Do I actually just run in? I think I just run in. Additional overloads required. The doors open. Now to destroy the eradicator. I don't really like these hellbets very much. Can you guys come this way? Thank you. Oh, they're fast. Or these fire bets, rather. So I wonder how hard this campaign is going to be, though, because I can imagine that this... There's another base! Huh. You have more Zerglings here. Well, they're mine now. Not enough minerals. I can imagine that this is, like, one of the easier missions, because these units are incredibly overtuned. Cliff jumping and extra armor? I just don't know if I have strong enough units, I guess. Like, if I can make enough of them here in total. Those Hellbats are scary. There's a bunch of Lings over here, but I think I can only get those from the low ground. What is Jens? Oh, dance around them. Okay. Okay, we'll surround them over here. So far, so good. That should be the third set of links. Not yet, I haven't. I'm still in your containment cell. Okay, so the only thing that's left to do right now is this big boy. Your forces are under attack. I'm gonna have to play this kind of slowly, though. Okay, yeah, yeah. Those Hellbats can be very scary, especially if there's medics in front of them. Or behind them. Alright. Uh, this was kind of hidden on the Discord server. So rather than it having its own dedicated chat channel, for some reason this particular game was somewhere else. I don't really know why. I had to look for it as well for a little while. You have to look at like the find custom game group chat or whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. But for some reason this one was not quite in the place where I expected it to be either, but... Yeah. have overrun the sublevel. You're lucky no one was killed, Kerrigan. Luck had nothing to do with it. And maybe now, you understand how dangerous the Zerg are. I'll send them back to their pens. I appreciate that. I'm opening your cell right now, if you'd like to join No me. one was killed, guys. And perhaps next time you can make your point without destroying <laughs> Thank God. Utility. No one important anyways. It was just a bunch of fire bets and medics and stuff, but we don't really care about them. Just robots and a few humans, but you know, no one was killed. <laughs> All right. You made a mess.
mess down there, sir. Starting to regret bringing me. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Never. I heard about what happened with your friend Tychus. I'm sorry. He made his choice. Would you rather have a fun 92k job or a stressful 210k job? Would I rather have a fun job or a stressful job? So wait, are you trying to decide between two different jobs on the program? One that's easy, but you get 92k a year, and one that's stressful and you get 210k a year? Ay, ay, ay. It depends, right? It depends on many things. Difficult call to make, man. I have the most stressful job in the world, chat. Come on. Don't you know what I do for a living? You have no idea how difficult it is to play video games sometimes. It depends on how stressful stressful is, right? Like, if stressful means working 90 hours a week and never having any time to chill at all, it's definitely never worth it. It also probably depends a little in like what phase of life you are. Like if you have, I don't know, if you're like 50 years old and you have three kids, you're probably better off being home <laughs> and not working a million hours. But if you're in your early 20s or whatever and you feel like you have tons of energy, might not be a bad, bad idea to take the more stressful one. You have five kids and three wives? Our, our, hold up, hold up. Hold, hold up right now. Hey, so I'm assuming I do get Kerrigan in this mission. Thank you, by the way, for the resub. So I think in these missions you do get Kerrigan. Yeah. Sweeping. Pushing ahead. Covering ground. Back in the cell. Oh. Let's move out. I am very tempted because I think this is just going to be the normal mission, right? I I don't think anything is going to be different in this one. I'm going to skip it. I don't think it's worth just working, though, all day, every day. Unless you love what you do, of course, but... Working yourself to death is not really that great of an idea. Kerrigan, before we jump, hey! Hyperion tracked multiple Dominion signatures headed down to the surface. Gonna have Shut up, Horner. We have the Brood Queen, a support unit. It spawns creep tumors and can support units with ensnare and spawn brood links. I would probably go for the higher paying one on the program if it's the same hours. Obviously, it's a very personal decision, but I tend to have quite a bit of energy. <laughs> Energy is kind of what you, you yeah, right? But it's, it's tricky. Low greed? I mean, basically what I'm hearing is one job, it's the same hours, right? So on the one hand, you have a job that pays 92k, and then you have one with higher responsibilities that pays 210k a year? Responsibilities sound pretty cool there, dude. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously, it very much so depends, right? It is also one of those things where you could, I guess, give it a try, and if it doesn't work out, at the very least, it's on your resume that you did this and this and that at this position at this company, so it's something that transferred to another place that may be a little bit more chill. <laughs> like, when you think about it, if the one job pays twice as much as the other that you're trying to consider after taxes at the very least, I would imagine you probably end up with like twice as much. It also means you probably have to work half as long before you can technically retire, which sounds pretty sweet too, dude. 
But yeah, it, exactly. It also depends on where you live. If you live in the middle of New York City, I think if you make 92k a year, you're probably basically broke. <laughs> if you live in the middle of nowhere, um, oh, you have crypto for retirement? Oh, okay, okay. Well, then you're already set. <laughs> It depends on when you got into crypto. <laughs> if you're getting into crypto at this particular moment, it's a bit of a risk, man. Yeah, exactly. Like, as we speak, it seems like Bitcoin is on its way to a new all-time peak or whatever. I don't really follow it very much, but this uh, probably is not the time to get started with that. But that is exactly also the time where a lot of people do get started with it. So. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. No, you should... You should generally not take your advice from streamers as far as financial advice goes. I don't think that's a good idea. Um, but I do think in general, buying high and selling low is a bad strategy for any investment. Yeah. But that seems to be what a lot of people do with crypto in particular, though. Like, oh my god, it's going up. It's still going up. Better jump in when it's already what seems to be up the roller coaster. But... Scanning. Detecting. <sighs> Buy high, sell low. That's my advice. All right, no, 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 that's not my advice. Hey, so I don't have regular queens. I only have brute queens. 125 gas each. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to do this. The first thing I need is a spawning pool. Brute queen mutations are now available from the spawning pool? Dominion approaching from the north. Hey, I have an old army hotkey now. That's sick. I was missing that in the previous mission. So these guys have creep tumors? And and snare? I agree, dude. They should add that to a regular queens in StarCraft 2's multiplayer. Command. We found Kerrigan. This mission on Nightmare was an absolute nightmare. Yeah. Going in. Send reinforcements. The Dominion found us. They're going to hit us hard. Does it do any damage? Hold up, what exactly does Ensnare do here in this game? Because I did get... Ah, we got Spawn Brute Links from that. It's on Autocast. So Spawn Brute Link and Infest Command Center are both on Autocast. That's awesome. Alright. So we get free Brute Links whenever something dies. Wait, no. Those are supposed to be my structures that help me. I don't think it's a great fight for me. But I'm hoping. No, that was really bad. Okay. The units are a little floaty. So I don't have Queen Inject? This is basically like the Gaunt ability from the Stormgate unit. You know? Where you get free brutal. <laughs> you get free infested units. Which is one of the worst mechanics you can have. Drones build five seconds faster. Creep tumors have drones. And drones have 60 more life. Creep tumors build almost instantly and time before they can be spread is reduced by 66%. Oh, that almost made it. That's so funny. Okay. Um, I guess I'll be upgrading my Zerklings. So this doesn't do any damage. No. Yeah, you can micro these things quite well. This mission on Nightmare difficulty, which is I think the last time I played it, was so hard. By the way, for those of you wondering if I'm going to be playing Legacy of the Void Nightmare difficulty, I just want you all to know that I spent time on the first prologue mission. I spent, I think, about four hours on the first prologue mission of Legacy of the Void Nightmare difficulty, and I couldn't beat it. Like, I don't know if I'm ready to commit. I do want to play it, but also at the same time, I'm like... Oh 
I could skip the prologue missions, yeah, but that starts off with me, you know, defeating myself. I don't know if I like that idea. So I wonder if this mission's much changed. So there's trapped swarm queens. Hmm. But I also played it like I think one day or so after it became available. So maybe maybe they've changed a, a couple things here and there. Okay, we'll keep up these upgrades. I can get missile research, but I'm not sure what for. Okay, these guys have terrible anti-air. <laughs> but fair enough. A lot of attack waves, though. Yeah, one of the bonus objectives is over here. That is not normally where it's located. But I think I'm just gonna try and clear out the entire map and then we'll see how it goes. I don't know how viable it is. Can it live against the siege tank? No. Ooh! I have a couple of, uh, what are these then? Bile spewers! Launch a missile at the target location, dealing 30 damage, 30 for structures to all enemy units in the area? Wait, it's an AoE? Whoa, hold up right now. We require more minerals. Um On impact, the area blah 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 leaves behind a pool of acid that slows and deals damage. 75 over 5 seconds. Okay. All right, yeah, no, uh, that's uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, there is a timer at the top of the screen, but in the previous missions, I didn't get particularly close to that. So, can I just... Watch them die? Yeah, <laughs> we can. Okay, there is an expansion over here, so that's nice. Normally, there's no expo in this location, I don't think. To be fair though, I have played the Wings of Liberty missions many, many times, but the other ones not so much. So, I gotta be a little careful with how I play this out. Because I actually don't really know what is changed and what isn't. Oh my god, those things are strong. Not bad. Yeah, in Brood War, Queens used to be able to fly. That's what Brenda told me. Back before the Brood Wars, I could fly. Sure, Brenda. Sure. That's what Brenda told me anyways, dude. It's very hard to know. She's, she's old and... A little delusional sometimes. Let's get you back to lunch now, Brenda. Dude, why are my Zerklings going absolutely ham? Adrenal Overload? Where did I get that? Whoa! I got a Torask! Terrifying roar, stunning nearby ground units? Okay! Do it! Give him the roar! Ready to roar! Ready to rock! Get ready to go! I don't remember the song exactly. That was a good song though. From the first GSL code S. Ay, ay, ay. That's an old school ultralisk.
Oh, the only problem here is that the priority of the Ultralisk for some reason is higher than... Oh, look! It can walk over things. How convenient. Yeah. I've got a couple of hunter killers over here too, of course. So I can only make lings here, right? I'm gonna have to transfer drones apparently. Uh, that was actually kind of a scary army though. Do I still have my ravagers? I do. There's another base over here too, so I'll be sending a drone on down to that low ground as well. I guess you can go, fair. Do I need gas? I don't know what I need gas for, but I guess I can make it. Dude, that is a massive army. Um. Wait. Oh, I infested the command center! Oh, of course I infested the command center! I could have done that a little bit ago. Huge fight up here, though. No, no, no. Leave it alone. Oh, no. Where's my army? There they are. Hmm. Not in love with this. We require more minerals. Our forces... So I don't know what happens in 10 minutes. Yeah, I should have played this differently. That ultra is not messing around though. How much HP do you guys have? 100? This guy is 800. It's not bad. So why can I, um... <laughs> why can I... Mine gas? Dude, these pushes are actually kind of strong. There's no way spine crawlers would deal with that. What can I do with the command center? I can make... Bailings? And abominations too. Oh wow, okay. Uh, I've got a baneling just about to pop out. Right over here. Is that irradiate on my... <laughs> All right, I've irradiated on one of my things. A little messy, but it'll do. We require more men. Our forces are under attack. Did I lose those drones that were previously mining here? Dude, what a mess. So there's actually so many spellcasters here that it's quite difficult to keep track of exactly what's going on. A bunch of the spells are autocast, so that's nice. Now there's a bunch of rates over here? Oh my god. Are they cloaked? Was that... Was that the ghosts? Or... Are you guys detectors? No. Okay. I don't know what happens in those... Uh, when that timer is up. That's one of my main concerns here. We're definitely gonna have to keep our units quite spread here, though. Not a lot of time to reading uh, in, the, in this particular campaign so far. <laughs> we have six minutes. I don't think I'm gonna make it. My one Ultralisk is trying his best. 
This guy is a bit of a chat, though. Yeah, I should not have made those extra hatcheries. Again. Just like in the previous mission. I did not need to make all those extra hatches. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, this deals friendly fire? Deals massive damage to allies? Yeah! Found out about that the hard way. The fuck just... Wha Was that the terrifying roar? Okay, I just lost my Torask. Uh, there is about a 0% chance I'm gonna be able to cross that bridge. I remember that bridge very specifically from Nightmare Difficulty. It was not a good time. So, Banelings deal friendly fire, apparently. That's nice to know. I could make Abominations. That might be a better idea from these command centers. Yeah. Maybe you can cheese the final bonus objective, I'm not sure. <laughs> that ability is so strong. No! Don't die. Did he die? I think he died. Yeah, the amount of attacking units is a little much here. He didn't die. He was back. I guess we'll find out what happens in three minutes. So can I make any sort of detection at all? Oh, I can make a lair. Wait, are there structures I could have been making at a lair? Normally you can't... I can make a spire? I didn't even know I could make a spire. Okay. Alright. Oh, what? Oh, wait! Maybe that three-minute countdown at the top of the screen is actually a positive. Maybe I'm supposed to be holding on this entire time. Hold out for reinforcements. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, the problem is I need to do this before the reinforcements arrive. Sorry, I'm a little overwhelmed here. I, I should have done this. I should have done this very differently. That's why we have the Mutas, to try and get that final bonus objective. Okay. <sighs> We've got to breathe here for a moment. I'm like a headless chicken here, running around, trying to put out fires everywhere. Generally speaking, the loco build order is to not read instructions in step one. And then to complain that you didn't read the instructions in step two and blame the game. Yeah, that's that's usually how I do these sort of things. You think when I go to Ikea, I look at the freaking build order? No, 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 chat. We just start piecing things together. Step three is to upload it to YouTube so people like me can get wound up that he still wins. Yeah, 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 exactly. First thing I need is a spawning pool. We playing the campaign again? Again, yeah. I've played it once or twice. Hey, thank you very much, Milk the Muffin. Research mutations for support units? What? Spawn Brutlings generates an extra Brutling? And Snare has a 50% increased duration? Increases the movement speed of Queens. Ah. Ooh, okay. I did not get that. Cool. You think I can go like a flying Zerk army? I wonder if I can just go into a lair and get the mutas and stuff going. That'd be fun. We require more gas. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. We go mass, mass Muta Queen, and then I guess Zerklings in another control group. There's a lot of things to take uh, to take care of. Yeah. Kukulza mutations are not automatically given by the Leviathan on some missions due to an unknown bug. If you encounter this issue, pick them from the hatchery, lair, or hive. Alright. Don't know what that means, but fair. Feels bad to have this many minerals. Can I already get this thing over here, you think? This seems like a bit much. Now nah, we're gonna have to make some army. I think I'll make one macro hatchery. I think one macro hatch is probably not a terrible idea. I don't know who Kukulza is. I have no idea. It's the StarCraft 1 hero mutas? Okay. Today I learned. I wonder if the mutas are much changed as well. Okay, guys. How do you... How do I infest the command center? How did I do it? Oh, it must have 50% HP or lower. Okay, it's basically like a Pokemon. You can't start... Well, you could start throwing your Pokeballs early, but... Okay, we'll just leave the queens around there. I'll continue getting some more upgrades. Hey, I got it. I'll make an abomination too when I can make it. The abominations seem kind of fun. When will I play Pal World? I have no intention of playing Pal World. Also, that game is like so last month, dude. That is so last month. Yikes, dude. Kind of cringe. Okay. Get with the times, dude. Okay, I want to try and clear out this section of the map. Last month on the internet is basically last decade. I don't make the rules. So I do have a Spire done right now, but I can't make any Mutas. Is that important? <laughs> There's no selection of Mutas here at the bottom right. I can make a Spire and I'm upgrading them, but I can't make them. So I think I do have to go across the bridge. Do it the hard way. I think it may just be for upgrades. These abominations are huge, man. Yeah, they can walk over smaller units. Cool. Have I played Half-Life? About half my life ago I did. No, I did play Half-Life. I'm actually pretty excited for 2024 because I think, I think, yeah, we should be, we should be seeing it soon. Half-Life 3. I think it can come out any moment now, really. Pretty excited for it, dude. We get to finally find out. Yeah, yeah, no, it should, it should, it should come out any moment now. I think it'll come out on the same day as uh, Portal 3, Starcraft 3, Warcraft 4, Silksong. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm sure it's any moment now.
Diablo 4 will be out soon, I'm sure. Oh, wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Actually, hmm. Oh, I accidentally killed the command center. Diablo Immortal 2? Dude, I'm excited for Diablo Immortal 2. It's gonna be so much fun. Okay. I should definitely be spreading creep tumors around, though. Can I spread creep on... No. I was wondering if maybe I could spread creep in locations where there was no creep at the moment. I know in some of these campaigns you can. The Overseer is like a very large, obvious place. To, uh, hmm. To see exactly where it detects and where it doesn't. It's kind of neat. I don't think they're gonna attack me over there anymore, are they? This section right in front of the bridge. There are more zerglings in this cave, my queen. Okay. The brood. Brood. You have recovered part of my brood. That was my best impression. I think it was pretty good. This is where my ultralist comes out. That's what she said? Mm. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you, Nook2. I had not thought about morphing in more combat units, but now that you bring it up, I will go ahead and give it a try. I don't want to lose these Ravager things, though. These Ravager things are amazingly strong. Good. I got another command center. Oh, they're actually just attacking straight over here. Okay. So all I need to do right now is protect in front of the bridge, because that's where all the units come from. In case you're unfamiliar where units come from, they come out of bridges. Just like babies. That's how it works. Um, so I have 10 minutes to get the biomass from this particular thing. I don't know how reasonable that is. Well, I'm pretty much maxed out, I guess. Um, I guess I'll save it and we'll just go. 
I could use Dropper Lords, I can do a bunch of things, but I wonder how well I can just attack move. Like, it is a Zerg campaign after all. Oh, that's the roar. Do I even need the... <laughs> Do I even need the reinforcements? Okay, I was actually kind of thinking that maybe this was going to be a super hard campaign. Because that previous attempt did not seem to be the cleanest. Uh, one of the bonus objectives, however, is to hold out for the Zerg reinforcements. And I need to sit here for another eight and a half minutes. Um... I blew up my command center. Oh, did I attack move on my own command center? I didn't realize that part. I'm not used to dealing with infested... Ooh, step zirkling was stuck. Um, I'm, I'm not used to dealing with... Uh... Okay, so one of my bonus objectives is uh, seven and a half minutes away. I did the mission a little quicker than I was supposed to. <sighs> I'm not sure if this affects anything, but I really do want to get all the bonus objectives. Because sometimes these missions do give you additional things when you get all the bonus objectives, guys. Trust me, Loco, it does nothing. Just trust me, bro. We can work on our creep spread. It's not very good at the moment. 